Well, new at nine tonight. The ransomware attack on UT Health East Texas is still being felt not only on the hospitals, but patients too. One woman tells us the daily cancer treatments she was receiving are no longer a sure thing. Fox 51's Nolan Hoffman spoke with the family about what they're experiencing and Nolan, what did they tell you? Yeah, Katie, at the moment, Patricia Cowan and her sister tell me they have to wait for a daily phone call to see if she'll receive the daily cancer treatments that she desperately needs. Someone is using people's lives as, as a way to make money. It's been almost two weeks since UT Health East Texas experienced a ransomware attack and patients are now feeling the impact. It hasn't been fun. Patricia Cowan lives with her sister in White House and is a cancer patient, but because the attack has affected their machine's ability to function, she now faces the obstacle of having to travel 45 minutes just to get care. When we called to double check, they said their machine was down and we had to move it to Athens. And it's still not a guarantee she'll get treatment. Once we got there, we found out that their machine was down. Cowan can't travel by herself and relies a lot on her sister's help. My treatment rests solely on the ability of my sister who has a whole who has a full time job. Her sister says it's making her career tough at times. I'm out longer from work and it means me bringing things home and getting up at four o'clock in the morning. The family says the UT health staff continues to do all they can. They all have been as kind as they can possibly be. UT Health East Texas telling us in a statement today, quote, safely caring for patients remains our highest priority. If the money is what they're after, they should consider other ways of making money, I think. Now, UT Health East Texas also telling us today, quote, we continue to work diligently to restore systems as quickly and as safe as possible. In studio, Nolan Huffman, Fox 51 News.